You've been diagnosed with lung disease. You're not alone. Today, there are millions of people just like you learning to control the symptoms of asthma and COPD. More is known about these diseases than ever before. Therefore, more can be done to help you manage your symptoms and live a fuller life. Asthma affects more than 150 million people in the world, and COPD, which your doctor may refer to as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is the fourth most common serious illness to affect people living in the United States. Take a moment to learn about asthma and COPD and what you and your doctor can do to control them. Great strides have been made in understanding asthma. The medical field now agrees that asthma is a disorder characterized by twitchy airways, known as hyperreactivity, and inflammation in the lung. Inflammation is a response that normally occurs when your body needs to fight a disease or a disturbance to its natural balance. Asthma, allergies, cold, stress, or exercise can all cause inflammation. Inflammation can also be the result when you breathe in cigarette smoke or have a viral infection. You probably know the feeling of an asthma attack, the tightness in the chest, the feeling that you can't breathe, or perhaps even wheeze when you breathe. But do you know what's actually happening inside your lungs? In people with asthma, the inflammatory response is exaggerated and many different kinds of cells are involved. These cells go through a complex set of activities to release chemicals. The chemicals are what cause the symptoms of an asthma attack. If this happens on a regular basis, your lungs may be damaged. Although you may always have asthma, there are treatments that can minimize and control the occurrence and alleviate the symptoms of an asthma attack. In fact, the inflammatory cells and chemicals in your lungs can be controlled when you use an inhaled corticosteroid, ICS, the most common treatment for asthma. Leave the tightness and help prevent spasms. These drugs do not address the long-term decline in lung function, but may provide temporary relief. As with asthma, several different bronchodilators can be used. Using any kind of bronchodilator can cause side effects. Please talk to your doctor about these and other potential side effects.